greetings to everyone. Well, I'm Michelle Devera Thomas. Actually, I grew up in South, South America. That's in a land, a country called Guyana, the land of many waters. And I migrated to Grenada, where I got married here. And I'm here for over a period of years. And I've been a Christian for the past 30 years or so. I attended Sunday school and I attended the Sunday church that my grandmother um, used to go. I was christened in the Sunday church and all of that. Um, but then I was home one day. I was home one day and one of my um, school friends one of my school friends invited me to a crusade, something they call a crusade. So I said, <clears throat> I said, but that's my birthday. That's the same date for my birthday. She said, better yet. But then I said, what this thing is all about? So um, I, I went in and I spoke with my, I, with my grandmother because I was living with her. And I asked permission if I can go to this meeting. She told me, um, yes, I can go because it's all about church. So I can go to this church meeting. But then as I went to the meeting, I said, who are these people? I don't know. I, I never heard about, uh, about these um, people because I grew up as a Sunday church person. I, I don't know who this Adventist people are. And um, she told me, um, I see they shake my hand. They welcome me and everything at this meeting and it was like strange for me because our family we grew up in the Sunday church we never know anything about going to church on Saturday and this Adventist thing so I I was curious and I decided to go every night to this meeting they told me the meeting gonna go on every week and as I go week one thinking that the meeting will finish it went on to week two we do the same thing and the meeting went all up to six weeks. So I said, as I go, as I go to this meeting, as I attend this meeting nightly, like everything, everything new I hear in, things that I never heard before. When one night I heard the things that I used to eat and they say, you can't eat certain meat, this is clean, this is unclean. So I said, weird, why? Then when I look, it was in the Bible. Everything that I used to do, I used to go to a um, party and they spoke about all of that. So I said, and I read it for myself in the Bible because one thing that I did, I took my Bible with me every night. And as I go there, I write down the text and I came home and I started to read them. And every time I used to wear some jewelry on my hands and then when I heard them speak about it, I said, you know what, I took off these things. I said I want truth and I want to give my life fully to Christ because when I thought I was I when I thought I was baptized as a baby they said baby cannot baptize only um, the Bible never mentioned where baby is being baptized so I said well I just thought that I had baptized so I learned about what baptism is all about you must go down in the water and come up and as I learned truth over and over I decided um, at the end of this meetings that they had that I would give my life to Christ. When I, I was about to, um, I asked, when I was about to go to the um, place where the baptism was taking place, I asked um, one of my, two of my friends, my school friend told me, girl, don't give your life to Christ. These people, um, don't worry with these people. Don't um, surrender your life. You're too young. Don't give your life to Christ. So. They discouraged me and I went home and like when I went and I viewed the baptism and I see all everybody giving their life to Christ and like I was so much hurt I said but look these girls tell me don't give my life to Christ and now look I'm here if Christ should come now what I would answer and say so when I uh, went back the, the, the meeting continues and I went back to the meeting and then I said you know what I think I make up my mind no friend could stop me this time 
So I got one of the Bible workers told me that they can come and talk with my grandmother because I was afraid what my grandmother would say, seeing that we were all going to Sunday church. So I, um, the grandmother's, um, the aunt, the Bible worker, sorry, spoke with my grandmother and she said, she, okay, well, if I agree to accept Christ and accept this message from the Bible and to follow the truth, um, she's going to be in agreement. But she said the only thing is that we don't know nothing about the seven administrators but as she learned and then the bible worker told her told my grandmother that she's going to work along with me so um i they told me to get my things together and i'm going to get baptized so i went to get um i went to the baptismal site and with my stuff ready for baptism because when i got baptized when I went down into that pool, I cried because I realized that the world had nothing to offer me. I realized that when I heard the truth, I saw the text in Hebrews 3.15 that said, Today, if you hear my voice, harden not your heart. And I said, you know what? If death should come, because death comes on anybody, young and old, if death should come on me now, what will my faith be? What will I answer to? What will I tell the Lord? So I said, you know what? The Bible said, now is the acceptable time. Today, when you hear my voice, harden not your heart. And then after going to Sunday um, church so long, first I thought of it, I said, well, how come I never know about all these things in the Bible? How come nobody never tell me about these things? Then when I start reading for myself, I see that Jesus kept the Sabbath. But I, said, I thought they said the Sabbath is only for the Jews. But then um, Jesus um, in Luke 4, 16, when I read that, it says, he came to Nazareth where he, he had been brought up. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. So I said, look at that. Because it says that we must follow Jesus as our example and not man. So, and then the thought came to me that I must um, obey God rather than man. So I said, you know what? Um, this is this is the truth that I want and also Mark 16 16 16 remind me he said he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved so I want to act by my faith because I believe I acted by faith and gave my life fully to Christ and today I advice to anybody who want to accept Christ if you have any problems whatever problem nothing is too hard for the Lord to do if you think you have problem with the truth and you don't know what to do, go on your knees sincerely and talk to God and say, Lord, I want to follow you truthfully from my heart. I want to be sincere in everything I do and ask him, show me the truth. Show me the church where you want me to go. Show me what to follow and the Lord will show you. Also, for those little ones who are struggling, who may say the parents, your parents threatening you to put you out and, and all that, it says, the Lord said that he that loveth mother and father more than me is not worthy of me. He said when your parents forsake you, he will take you up. That means he will provide, he will get somebody to assist you. Some neighbors, some friends, some brethren, some church members, somebody. Um, if you are willing and you are determined, God will provide someone to um, to hold you up and to help you. So I would say to everybody, the world has nothing to offer us but sin and death. That's all that is going on. But what I'm saying to you today is that you do not know when death will come to you or you do not know what life, where your future holds. But my advice to you is to give your life. I, if I were you, I would give, um, I would advise you give your life to Christ because only with Christ, all things are possible. And he knows what's best. Why I choose the Seven Adventist Church? Because after listening to the truth and reading it in my in the Bible for myself, it says that here is the patience in Revelation. Here is the patience of the saints. That's Revelation 14, verse 12. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and have the faith of Jesus. And when I look at comparing to the church that I used to go, I realize they don't keep the Ten Commandments. They may just keep up nine. But they're guilty of one so I said you know what no we were doing wrong here I have to um, follow all ten because he said if I if I guilty of one that mean I guilty of all so after reading that in the Bible I said no I have to follow what the Bible say and not what man say so that's why I accepted um, 
um, the Advent message and then the Advent the Advent message is more than that the prophecy is clear all that is said in the prophecy in Revelation the entire Daniel Revelation it is being fulfilled today and it is so correct when I do my readings when I study it is so correct everything is fulfilling that is in the Bible